What's going on guys, it's your boy CMB. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's get into this one really quickly. Now guys, uh, it seems like the WBC is listening to what the fans want now. Uh, you guys know it's been uh, really hard uh, for a boxing fan to get the fights that they actually want. Uh, these fights should be made the best fight in the best competition, uh, just like they do uh, in the UFC. Uh, we should have that here in boxing, and we, we just haven't been able to get these big fights across the line. We have the uh, Ryan Garcia, Javante Tank Davis situation going on, and of course, uh, we have the Terrence Bud Crawford versus Errol Spence situation. Now, I think that fight will happen later on down the line, but I, I got to admit that, you know, that, not, that fight not taking place this year left a really bad taste in a lot of fans' mouths. Uh, some people said that, you know, they're even turning away from boxing. But uh, I love boxing. I'm going to stick around. I do think that fight will happen. But anyway, guys, uh, you know that the fight between David Benavidez and Caleb Plant uh, was already announced uh, by the PBC and you know, on both of the guys' uh, Instagram platforms. Now, they had the uh, WBC convention yesterday in Mexico, and it's been announced that the winner uh, between Caleb Plant and David Benavidez uh, will be the mandatory challenger for Canelo Alvarez. And, and that brings music to my ears because, like I said, these big fights should be getting made. Uh, a lot of people were interested in seeing Caleb Plant taking on David Benavidez. It's, it's been a few years now and we're gonna get that fight. And they're saying the fight's gonna be in March. So Canelo Alvarez, uh, we have yet to know what he's gonna do next. Uh, we know he had surgery, I think, on his left hand or his wrist. And he said that, you know, he was gonna take a little bit of time off and, and then come back. Uh, I'm hearing Eddie Hearn wants him to try to uh, get a rematch with Dimitri Bivol sometime in May. So whoever wins between Caleb Plant and David Benavidez, uh, may possibly be able to face Canelo Alvarez uh, sometime later on in the year, possibly September. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. But uh, guys, like I said, this is good news uh, for the, the boxing fans. You know, I, I think it took a while for, you know, these platforms and, and these sanctioning bodies uh, to hear uh, the fans screaming out, you know, we want better fights. Uh, but now the bottom line's being affected, so I, I think they're going to start listening more to what we want as boxing fans. And, and it's only fair. We want to see the best fight the best. There's great competition across all platforms. These fights can be made if they really sit down and negotiate and, you know, everybody can win. All the platforms can win. All the fans can win if they work together. And, you know, egos are big. And, you know, any, any time in business, you're going to have big egos. But... I'm glad to hear this news. Uh, Canelo Alvarez probably going to have a tough year with these these uh, these challengers. But uh, you guys, let me know what you think about this. Uh, I think later on I'll talk about uh, in another video about the chances uh, Caleb Plant and David Benavidez, David Benavidez, excuse me, uh, who has the better chance of winning. Uh, we'll do that on down the line. But you guys, let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.